Hi there, this is Debbie. Welcome to Deb's Thing. Today I'm presenting a new design I'm calling Du Côté, which means two sides in French. Uh, the reason I'm calling it that is because this is the one side and this is the other side, completely different. And to me, two sides doesn't sound very glamorous, but French is such a glamorous language, and du côté, I probably said that one wrong, du côté, is gorgeous sounding. So, let's get going. We will be using four bars across, and they're kind of like that. These two are the lower, and these two are the upper. For those of you who only have one loom, if you get one ba um, one extra bar from rainbowloom.com, you can, if you like, put this here, you know, the big pit, um, base here, and then one small one down here, and one small one at the top, you can uh, make it work. Although, due to the way I'm going to be um, looping the bands, it might be a little too much stress and, you know, make them want to collapse. Okay. Um, as I've said in other tutorials, it's a real good idea to experiment with, you know, just about this much of your loom to see if the bands you're anticipating using for your design will work. I tried these. <laughs> I wanted to use the um, Egyptian red, which I'm not super crazy about. I mean, I'm, that's I like more of a maroony red than an orangey red. And this is hideous. <laughs> I use those, um, the ocean blue. These are the mixed metallics that you buy at Michael's. And then I did black on this side. And it's so, it's so ugly. Thank God I didn't just go for it. I'm kind of going for what I'm going using now, but I experimented with other colors and I think I've got it refined enough. So, for color A, which um, this one is a pastel blue, I am using these uh, magnificent rounded, um, I believe they're the bronze. Just love, love, love them. For color B, which on this one, um, it's a 600 count. It's like kind of orangey on the outside and hot pink on the inside. It's a, a two-tone band. I use those. The C color band are the white at the center. And on this one, it might be hard to tell. Oh, I've been on cameras. I used alternating um, ye pale yellow, the um, pastel yellow, and white. So up the center here, the C color band, I will be using, oh yeah, wait a minute, I'm sorry, for this color B I'm going to be using um, the um, olive green. For color C, which is all, as I said, all white here, and on this one I alternate pastel yellow and white, I'll be using the pastel colors, the the cooler of the pinks and the um, salmon color. And then for the flip side, which is color D, I will be using neon blue. I was tossed up between pastel blue and neon blue. But I kind of like, you know, it's going to be against these three colors. That's what this side. And I kind of like the poppier um, neon blue. So let's get looming. We'll start by placing what will be um, this band right here. Then we will. Wait a minute. Yes. Okay. I have my notes wrong. Then we will place that like that. I'm going. Where's my pencil? I need to fix that. Oh well, can't find it. We'll do it later. Okay. So we'll be doing that. And then 
we will go in all the way up. Our gnome, color A. I stay with you because I want to show you how it's going to be finished off. So I'll go as fast as I can. I am doing the full two, two um, looms length. So I will go as quickly as I can. Sorry, I'm not on camera here, but my loom is more than double the length of my little table here. It's just a, what do you call those, um, fold away little tables that you eat at, uh, TV tray. <laughs> okay. Let me get the, oh, oh, there's those rounded bands, eh? little bit tendency to break. So good to give it's probably good to give them a little bit of a stretch to make sure that they're not going to snap on you because the tension against these will be tight but um, I think as long as you're really careful and take it easy, it should be okay. I just hope that I will not find myself trying to figure out how to get a broken band replaced. <laughs> we will just pretend that concern is not not a reality, right? Okay, let's see now. How do we do this? No, okay. So it has to end like this. So on this side, you're going to do that. And then on this, oops, I guess I can't use that. It's a broken one. That one's not going to work. You're going to have to stretch it all the way across like that. That's the most logical way I found to finish off the end of this design. Next, we will take B color and start here. And we will just make, be making a triangle shape all the way up until you cannot do it any longer. And here on this side, you'll start here. So I'm going to go off camera to do this. Especially since somebody's doing the dishes in the background and there's a lot of clunking. It sounds like I'm in the kitchen of a restaurant. Be right back. Once you have all the B colored bands, this is how the last two look. Now you will start the C color bands. If you want it to look like this, it'll just be one color. If you want to do more than one color, then you'll just alternate. And it goes like this. We'll start with this pin right here. And I'm going to start with the pink. It doesn't really matter. Go to the turk um, to the salmon. Pink, salmon, pink, salmon. And I'm going to just keep doing that all the way up to this pit. Alrighty, I'll be back when I'm done. Now that all your C colored bands are placed, it is time to place the cap on this pin right here. Now this is something I'm doing a little different. Um, I haven't seen it before, but I'm sure it's been done. Um, it's just impossible to see, you know, 
all the designs that have been out there that are out there and my subconscious has a way of remembering things my conscious does not <laughs> so anyhow with the cap on we are going to zigzag these C bands all the way up very simple I don't have to show too much of it and I hear my husband I think coming out of his study so I will turn off my camera so that he can come out all right I'll be back when I'm done doing this portion once all your C colored bands are looped push them all down because we still need to place our D color bands turn your loom back around so that they look like smiley faces as you're looking at them because now we are going to be placing the D colored band following the exact same zigzag pattern as the C bands you will be placing the D colored and since there are quite a few bands I'm going to go off camera and just hang in there when you're ready to place your last one and I will come back on and show you how to fit that one in. Okay, now it's time to place the last um, decolored band and for that I am going to turn this around to make it easier for me to access it. And what you're going to do is take your hook, grab the cap, pull the cap off, place the D-band on, and place the cap back on. And somebody's waiting to speak to me, so I'm sorry I'm going to have to take another break in the video, and then we'll start looming. Hi there, I'm almost ready to get to show you this, but somebody wants to say hello to you. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> say hi, loomers. Hi, loomers. Hi, uh, this is Livia. Hi. Say this is Olivia. Okay, okay, okay. So this is Olivia. <laughs> Play a note. Blow your blow your oh. thing. Blow and, your flute. And then I'm gonna say hi okay. to Annie. Okay. She's gonna she's gonna blow her flute. She's gonna try to make a note come out, and then we'll get back to business. Hurry up. Okay, okay, Time. okay. <laughs> Never mind. I'm making her okay, bigger. Can I say hi to Annie? Okay, she wants to say this hi to someone. Hi, Annie. All right, I'll be back in a second. <gasps> Sometimes it comes out perfectly. Most of the times it sounds like that, but she's learning. She's getting there. Okay, I'll be back. Oh, there you go. Holy cow. Yay. Woohoo. My daughter blew the flute almost properly, correctly. Yay. All right, she's gone. <laughs> so let's get going. Um, what we're going to do, I'll only show a couple because... Um, it'll be the same thing. We are not going to do anything with the end bands. We are going to go straight for the B colored bands, those triangle ones. Reach in here, grab the tip of the triangle and nothing else, and bring them around those two. Oh, I should have said <laughs> make sure your B colored bands are stretchy. But hopefully, you realized being placed as they were as a triangle that something stretchy was going to happen to them. So you're going to do this to all of them on both sides. And you can just press it down as you go. Very, very simple. Actually, it's really easy. Just go right through here. Alrighty. And I'm going to go take a little break and then do all those and be back. Pretty much what you're going to be doing next. Never mind. Never mind. You don't know what you're going to be doing next. 
Um, so I will be back. Now that all the B color bands have been pulled over, it looks like this. We are going to loop the D colored bands. My blue bands are here. So we're going to reach into the cap, grab that D colored band, and bring it here. And then this one, this one is right there on top. So you're going to bring it over like this. Did I get the right one? And it's going to go like this. It looks a little strange. Okay, so here it is. You bring it over here and then over here. Bring it over this one and then over this one. So it's right here. It's the only thing right here that you can loop right here. Bring it over the initial pin and then bring it over that pin. So it's a little strange because you know, um, the B color bands have pulled it out. Look how thin that one is compared to that one. Let's hope it doesn't snap. Make sure you a couple more times. Grab it right there. And it makes a little bit of a honeycomb. Two like, different shaped honeycomb patterns. The pink underneath and the blue on top. So we're going to just do that all the way up. Supposed to check how many minutes I was in. Oh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Olivia wanted me to know how many minutes into my video. She said hi to her friend Annie, her my, one of her Minecraft friends. But um, I will have to um, edit the movie and put all these pieces of it together, all these different segments, before I can tell her what minute her hello and recital of sorts. Okay. So instead of just waiting for me to go through all that, shh, walk through silently, you're going to finish that all the way to the end and then you will do this. So finish all your decolored bands first, okay? Do all these all the way to here. And then you can start on your sides. And if you use the rounded bands, there's a lot of tension here. So just gently, gently, gently take them out. as little stretching as possible and hopefully they will survive. All right, I'll be back when I'm finished doing all of this. I hope I did not lose anybody in the, my quick instructions there. Um, it was kind of hectic. I definitely was not being patient and waiting till either my husband was settled watching a movie or off doing errands, which he is now, and the kids were in bed. Olivia's finally gone to bed. She's almost half an hour late. But, um, you know, once you got going, you know, with the decolored, which are the blue ones here, you know, it was just a matter of completing it to the end. And then starting you out on the A colored bands was just simple, um, you know, s single chain all the way up the side and now to finish it off I brought that one up to here that one up to there we're going to bring grab this one and then this one and then this one under here is the um, the one that holds it all together so I'm going to reach in grab this half I'm sorry, I've got a cliff in my mouth. <laughs> Grab this one here. I don't mean to sound muffled, 
because I usually hold the clip in my mouth. Alrighty, I probably don't even need the large one, but um, they are a little bit thicker bands. Okay. Oops. That's my bedtime med medicine alarm. Tight. Or tight. Let's just hope that none of them snap. I should be gentle with this. Ooh. So I do not want any of those bronze to snap. Sorry, this is taking so long. Oh, ah, it broke, it broke, it broke. I'll be back. I'll be back. Dang it. I must save. That's where you bring out the dental floss. I've got to keep this thing together. I will be back. Oh, my. What is my, my mom says something, she says, Mutazi, something like that. It's French for something, Mutazi. I'm saying it wrong, and it's a French-Canadian accent, so I think it means, oh my goodness. Anyways, I'll be back. <laughs> Alrighty, this is my salvaged bracelet. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Now, I wish I had done a segment I would not have chosen the blue although I do like the three colors on this side it is you know du cote two sides um but I don't like that I can see a little bit of blue peeking through because it's kind of um doesn't work well of course I should have known better because you can see the green peeking through a little bit here and this green peeking through a little bit there so I should have considered that a little bit better but anyways you have the instructions you have um, my mistakes to be wary about um, I don't know about you but whenever I get ready to do somebody else's um, design I always run through the tutorial first catch all the highlights and and you know get a feel for what's going on so anyhow I don't know what color I would have used here because I do like these three colors together and I kind of on these I wanted a color to peek through just a little bit but um, I don't think this blue coordinates as well as it could anyhow this is I keep wanting to say dos <laughs> but that's half Spanish. I live, you know, in Southern California and everybody's, you know, speaks Spanish around me, but it's du cote, meaning two sides. So that there, whoops, this is side one and this is side two, except for that mistake. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Hopefully your design will come out, your bracelet will come out better than this one did. And um, please like the design if you like it other than the mistake, you know, aside from the mistakes. And of course, if you want to see more of my videos, be sure to subscribe to Deb's Thing and check me out on Instagram at Deb's Thing. Post your re renditions hashtag um, I'm probably gonna just do the ducote without any of the little um, accents above or maybe I'll do both so that you have the option on tablets it's really easy or phones it's really easy to select um, the different um, accents but um, when you do it on the computer you have to do codes it's a little bit different. Anyhow, good night and thank you so much.